Uh, today in my class, we looked at the three branches of government. We uh, are covering those with seventh and eighth grade, the government, how the government works, how the government functions, um, the various roles that they have. So I invited three elected officials to come and be a part of my class today. We had Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman, uh, we had District 14 Representative Sam Creekmore, and then Third Circuit uh, District Attorney Ben Creekmore with us today. And they explained executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government to us today. So we uh, set them up on a Zoom call. We did uh, what I call the State Government Roundtable. And we had these three uh, gentlemen come and join us. They had a time slot. They came and joined us. They took questions from our students. They took questions both, a neat thing I thought was in class and virtual. One of the great things we have here in, in New Albany, in the New Albany School District, we have great technology. That technology gives us opportunities that other districts may not have, and today was an example of that. You know, one of the great things about this activity that they did today was they were actually able to engage in the learning process through asking questions to these individuals. times when you think well they they did it virtually all they could do was sit back and watch well how we have it set up at New Albany which they don't have it everywhere our students are able to fully engage they could see these people in person live real time they could hear them they could talk to them I had a student Lauren that asked uh, a couple of questions the lieutenant governor so they're able to fully engage they're not just sitting in front of their iPad or their computer they're fully fully engaged in what's going on it was pretty entertaining getting to meet someone you know that big in Mississippi. It was interesting to learn about because some people may want to do their jobs one day and they also told us what what all they do in the processes of like Mississippi and how things work. They have to be interactive. You, it's one thing for me to sit there and read off a list of facts and I could sit there and lecture on facts all day but for me I'm tactile and I know the majority of my students are so What's, what better way to learn it than for them to actually see it in action? Somebody that their parents voted for, that they had to cast a ballot for, and those people actually working and doing their job. So that was that was my whole reason. I, I, wanted, I wanted them to actually see this in action. No, it wasn't just something we learned out of the textbook. It's something that's actually going on right now. I enjoyed it because it was interesting to learn like what they thought about like a lot of stuff that I had questions about. You know, I can't tell you how proud I am of what I witnessed today at New Albany Middle School. And I tell you what, it really makes me very proud to be a New Albany Bulldog.